Good evening. It's time for 7 at 7. It's Monday night, and we're going to talk about uh, your praise is contagious. You know, uh, one of the definitions of the word contagious is, of course, with an illness. Uh, it can spread from one person to another with uh, direct or indirect contact. And, um, you know, we all know the uh, coronavirus that's going around. Well, it's contagious. That's why we have all the, uh, the social distancing going on. And uh, another definition of the word contagious, and I like this one, is of an emotion, feeling, or attitude likely to spread to and affect others. And that's where I want to start tonight. So, your praise is contagious. Have you ever been walking in the store or the mall and you heard a song that you're familiar with? I'm sure we've all done it. What happens? We start singing it, don't we? I know you do. I've done it. That music is contagious. We hear it, so we start singing it. It makes us feel good. It puts a smile on our face, right? So, but have you ever been caught singing that song, singing along, maybe a little, you know, a dance or a pep in your step? I'm sure the people around you thought, oh, they must be weird or strange. Well, who cares, right? But then have you ever caught them doing the same thing that you were just doing? They started singing, moving to the music. Uh, what you did was contagious. It presented a feeling uh, an attitude of joy. It affected someone around you. And boy, don't we need that right now. We need some, uh, some contagious joy and some uh, good feelings, right? Did you know the same goes for your praise? Your praise is contagious. Now, I know there's someone watching right now that you have been affected by someone's praise at one time or another. You saw somebody else singing, just really worshiping, giving their heart to God, giving it all they got, and what happened? It affected you so much that it spread to you. Your praise is contagious. You have no idea what you do when you praise. I like, I tell my worship team all the time, you know, uh, when we're on stage or we're leading worship and, um, you know, we're, we're engaging with the congregation, I always tell them that, you know, smile, you know, look like you're having a good time. Really worship. Give it, you know, give God all you got. And because what we do on stage is going to spill over. It's going to be contagious to the congregation because when they see us worshiping and having a good time and really worshiping God, and that's going to make them want to worship God, right? So, but did you know that your praise can also help you find, um, so your praise can help someone find freedom. You know, what does that mean? Well, your praise is contagious. So when you're giving God glory, that same presence and that same spirit of freedom can spill over into the person next to you. That's why I like to say sometimes, you know, can we all just lift our hands? You know, there might be somebody sitting next to you that, you know, maybe they had a bad day or maybe... Uh, you know, their, their week wasn't too good. Well, if they see you lifting your hands and they see you really worshiping and going after God, you know what? That's going to make them want to say, okay, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll try that out. And then by the same time, they can find freedom in giving God praise. And here's a good story that I found that I just absolutely love this. It's Luke chapter 18 and starting in verse 35. And I want to read this. And this is about when Jesus heals the blind beggar. And in verse 35, it says, And Jesus and his followers arrived at Jericho. There was a blind beggar sitting on the roadside. When he heard the crowd approaching, he asked, What's all this commotion about? It's Jesus, they said. Jesus the Nazarene is passing by. The blind beggar shouted, Jesus, son of David, have pity and show mercy on me. Those who were in front of the crowd scolded him and warned him to be quiet. But the blind beggar screamed out even louder, Jesus, son of David, show me mercy. Suddenly Jesus stopped and he told those nearby, Bring the man over to me. When they brought him before Jesus, Jesus asked the man, What is it you want me to do for you? Lord, he said, I want to see again. And Jesus said, Now you will see. Receive your sight this moment, for your faith in me has given you sight and new life. Now here's the verse. verse uh, this is uh, verse 48. Instantly he could see again. His eyes popped open and he saw Jesus. He shouted loud praises to God and he followed Jesus. And when the crowd saw what happened, they too erupted with shouts of praise to God. When they saw him giving praise, then that made the whole crowd. He made a whole crowd of people erupt in this gigantic, huge, uh, you know, I can just imagine the sound of, you know, when he got, when he was healed, he began to praise and that made the crowd praise, right? So, you know, that, that's so exciting that our praise is contagious. That's what I titled this little short thing tonight. And um, I'm sure you're familiar with the story of Paul and Silas, uh, you know, when they were in the prison. You know, when they begin to praise at night, 
uh, the, the doors open, every prison door was open, all the chains fell off, and it shook the building. Now, I'm sure the song they sang was not some cute little, uh, you know, some little hymn or some little, you know, kumbaya. I'm sure they really lifted their voice, shouted to God, I'm going to see a victory. I'm going to see a victory for the battle belongs to the Lord. I mean, I'm sure it wasn't that song, but, you know, you, you get the point. Because of their praise, the whole place was set free. Because of their praise, every prisoner's chains fell off, the doors opened, and they were set free. Tonight, as we gather in our homes, as we worship together later on, you know, when we do the worship at home, I just challenge you, open up the windows, let the praise spill out the windows into the street. Um, when, we, when we first began doing this, uh, I started singing and playing in my apartment, and um, I know it was the Spirit of God moving on there, but I had like three neighbors that... Um, heard the music, and now they almost anticipate me singing. I mean, they'll, my wife will be sitting there watching as I'm playing, and they'll see them just kind of, you know, kind of congregate out in the parking lot here by my apartment. But and I try to have the sliding door open when I'm, you know, when the weather cooperates, uh, you know, that way they can hear. But my upstairs neighbor got emotional one day. This is so good. She got emotional. We thought, uh oh, the music's too loud. She came downstairs and knocked on the door, and she had been crying. She said, I've been so depressed, you know, because of this whole virus thing. And um, she said, when she heard the music, she said that it just made her feel better. She would come out on, the, on her balcony to listen to it. It made her feel better. It changed the atmosphere. My praise down here, because I was giving God glory, changed the way that she feel. It wasn't me. It was God. But you know what? She got, she, she got to kind of uh, feel the, uh, the effects of the worship. So your praise is contagious. I challenge you tonight, you know, that when we're, when we're worshiping at home, just give it all you got. Worship together. Don't hold nothing back. And just imagine in your mind, just see uh, chains re being broken, uh, prison doors being uh, open, people being set free tonight as you begin to praise in your home that it can spell out and uh, just, uh, just change your atmosphere around your neighborhood, whether, you, you know, if you have family in the house, if there's, you know, maybe people that aren't saved, let that praise tonight change the atmosphere. Let that praise be contagious. All right. Thank you for joining me. God bless you guys. I know that was short and quick. I was like a horse at the races. I was just kind of off, but um, hope you enjoy that. We will see you. I'll see you at 730 tonight for worship at home. And we'll be back tomorrow night with seven at seven. God bless you guys. Love you.